Hi everyone, I'm Marianne. I'm a visual artist and voice coach from Singapore, currently in Singapore. And welcome to day 73 of my 100 day vlog series. So if you're someone who has a dream and you've always wanted to pursue it, you want to go after your passion, you want to create a worthy and meaningful purpose for your life, this is a series for you. This is where I share what I've learned and what I've realized. So if you're not sure where to get started, if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling confused, I hope that whatever I've shared from my experiences in this journey of pursuing my dreams can help you figure out some answers for yourself and figure out what is the next step for you to take. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments or you can directly message me through any one of my social media links which are in the write-ups attached to these videos. So in the past couple of days, I shared an analogy that I heard from my teacher where we are living in this peaceful village at the bottom of a volcano and whether we get wiped out by the volcano or whether we climb the volcano and jump into it to confront death, um, it is something that it is inevitable anyway that we are going to die. Or you could be a sheep in a sheep pen and you're staying in the sheep pen because you're afraid of the wolves outside that they are going to eat you. And ultimately at the end of your life, you get eaten by the shepherd anyway. So getting eaten is an eventuality. Death is inevitable in our lives. And therefore, if you want to create something that is exceptional for yourself, if you want to go on a crazy adventure in your life, and if you want to have memorable experiences in your life, then staying in the village, staying in a sheep pen and living a peaceful mundane life is not going to get you there. Now, he expanded more on this analogy of us wanting to live a peaceful life. And one of the things that he said was that when we think that we're living this peaceful life in a village, a lot of times it's not going to be peaceful. It's not going to be peaceful because you're going to have, you know, quarrels, you're going to have misunderstanding with the people that you live with, the people in your peaceful village community, and with your family, basically, and with your partners and spouses and whoever you are sharing a roof with. And this is because a lot of times when you don't have a common cause outside of yourself that you can fight together, you end up fighting each other. And the fights that we have with each other a lot of times it's because it comes from a place of unrest and a place of um, non-peacefulness inside of us. And a lot of it is really the conflict within us where because we don't keep the promises that we make to ourselves, because we don't go after the things that really matter to us, there's a lot of incongruency, there's a lot of maybe guilt, there's a lot of regret. And all these things don't allow us to be at peace within ourselves. And then, you know, in our external environment, when something happens, like your spouse says something that triggers that part of you, or you say something that triggers that part of them, that is where misunderstandings happen, that is where quarrels happen, that is where a very simple um, fight can turn into a family feud and, you know, can result in people not speaking to each other for years over something that really could have been resolved very easily. And most of the times, you know, when it comes to the people in our lives, the only times we don't really fight each other is because we have something common as a cause to fight together. So if you're in a community like I am, where you're with people who want to create more out of their lives than just the usual survival stuff in the physical reality, um, people who are going after their dreams, people who are doing whatever it is that truly matters to them and expanding and growing themselves, we rarely have fights and misunderstandings with each other. And even if we do, we clear things up very quickly and we get aligned back to that bigger cause that we are going after together and fighting together. So a lot of times, you know, especially these days, a lot of people go for meditation courses and meditation workshops and they practice meditation as a way to calm themselves down, as a way to seek inner peace. And this is a misunderstanding a lot of times in meditation that inner peace is the end result that you want to get to. Because there are so many voices in our head, there's so much noise inside our head and a lot of it also comes from us not really truly being not really being true to ourselves and not living a life that is true to ourselves and kind of forcing ourselves to conform to a certain way of living that isn't truly and authentically us so every time you go for meditation if you don't resolve these things inside you you won't actually get to a place of inner peace and coming back to the analogy of you know being in that peaceful village or being in the sheep pen the only, way, the only way we can attain peace, the only way we can discover what peace really is, 
is when we start to do some of these things that are aligned to us and that resonate with us and we fulfill them. So as an example, if you are living in the village beside this mountain and you've always wondered what the top of the mountain is like or what the view from the mountain is like and you decide one day that you know you, you know what I'm just gonna go and do it I'm just gonna climb this mountain and figure it out as I go along and you embark on this adventure to climb the mountain and of course it's gonna be challenging you're probably gonna get lost many times along the way because you don't know which path to take and maybe because nobody else has climbed up the mountain before there is no path before you and you have to figure it out on your own and maybe as you climb the mountain you're also fighting off wild animals or you get you know stung by insects and you get an infection in your bite and you still have to figure out how to continue on this journey and maybe you know you're not in such great physical shape but because this is a journey that really matters to you and you really 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 want to see what the view is like at the top of the mountain you press on and you keep moving forward one foot at a time one step at a time until you finally reach the top of the mountain until you finally see the entire view of the scenery around you and um, of the path and the way that you have taken to come up there and that is the moment where you get that sense of peace because you finally fulfilled that thing that has been calling to you for the longest time and no matter how difficult that journey was you pressed on and you kept going until you got there so it's the same as that moment when I did my first solo exhibition where when I was giving my speech to everyone who has who was there and I looked around me at the paintings on the walls and I realized for the first time in my life that I had done something that I thought was impossible, that I had done something for the first time in my life not because I was trying to impress people or live up to someone else's expectations, but I did it simply because it was my dream and I finally took the steps to make it come true no matter how difficult those two months of organizing this exhibition was. Um, like every single day I wanted to quit, every single day I wanted to just give up and go and do something else that was easier and but I stuck to it and I kept pushing on and no matter how difficult it was I just kept going at it until finally there I was standing among 70 people looking at me as I gave my speech, standing among my 30 paintings and having that moment of realizing that I had done it and feeling that sense of being congruent with myself for the first time in a very long time because I finally did something that I said I would. So if you are looking to find some peace in your life and some peace within yourself, it's not going to come from your surroundings. It's not going to come from, you know, living that mundane life where everything is within your control and having that sense of security. The peace that you are seeking and the peace that you are, that you want inside of yourself can only come about when you are congruent with who you are, when you have done something that really resonates with you, when you have gone after something that really matters to you and you made it happen. And that's the only time that you can truly be at peace with yourself is when you keep those promises that you've made to yourself and when you've gone after those things that really matter to you and and seek out whatever it is that resonates with you and do something and take action and make it happen and make sure you see it all the way until it is complete. So if you liked today's video, subscribe to my channel on YouTube or like my Facebook page wherever you're seeing this on. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments or you can directly message me through any one of my social media links which are in the write-ups attached to these videos. And I'll see you tomorrow!